what's going on youtubers it's your boy lb and welcome back to my youtube channel guys today in this video i just want to show you how i create this effect inside adobe after effect the requirement needs is camera tripod and any version of adobe after effect that's a simple trick so now let's jump on in adobe after effect so then uh, this is my video clip which i'm going to use okay so guys as you see here my timeline is too short because i had to increase i have to add another video so let me go here on the composition on this composition settings for increase the timeline size okay let me add like 20 seconds and then press okay okay yeah this is good so and this is how the clip is so I'm going to find where this effect will begin on when this man will be heated just like this okay and I will press ctrl shift plus D to cut this layer okay and I will jump I will jump one one flame just like this and then click again shift Control press D just to cut. So now I have to extend this layer. Okay, I have to drag this layer here behind. So now come here for this one layer. Light click here on it and go here on time. Click here freeze frame. Guys, for this freeze frame, I'm going to extend this freeze frame. Okay. When I play, you see how the effect will be. Okay. It's too long. I can reduce some shots just like this. Okay. And then I have to pull this, this remains one. Okay. So guys, for this freeze frame is where the soul will be exported exported by here and then it will come back in this human okay so and i'm going to import the second clip the soul yeah i have been shot this video on a green screen guys all you can use lotoscope yeah it can be possible okay so now let me move this video here for this new composition then you press here so now I'm going to remove this green screen for this video and then this is how the, the subject is acting, okay? So first I'm going to remove this green screen. Before I remove this green screen, let me use this pen tool for just cropping where my green screen is. This is cool. So and go here on effect, search the effect called key color. Sorry, this key light one too. Okay, and then drag it here for this layer. And for this color, screen color, you have to use this icon for removing this green screen. Okay, guys, as you see here, there is some details which I can I remove in order to be remains this subject only. So click here on final result and then choose this screen mate. So I want this subject to be to be white. Open this screen mate setting and I can choose this white only. Let me choose this white for this subject. Yeah, this is better okay so let me back here and finalize that and then this is how my clip is <clears throat> so and i can remove these edges just like these guys okay let me move these edges by still using this screen mate setting yeah this is perfect so 
and back here for first composition and i'm going to bring my second video here on the top for this clip and then this is how the video is so <clears throat> and i have to find where this video is starting to act just yes like here guys so then i have to cut so my soul will be exported like this okay so let me move this clip here so when the this man is starting hitting this this guy okay the soul will be start exporting and let me bring this soul layer here yeah we'll be exporting just like this okay <clears throat> so i can extend this this time this freeze frame okay so let me move back here and then i have to cut this remains one still let me inc increase this freeze frame so when i start you see how the this all will be animating okay so and i'm going to admit this soul coming at the beginning of this layer of this soul okay click p for position move here and click s for scale i want to scale this soul okay yeah this is cool and i click arrow to rotate I can rotate just like this okay Yeah, this is cool and guys don't forget to move this acker point here on the center of this guy okay let me pull the acker point here okay so now back here on p for position and add key from here so let me move it here on the center for this for this layer and the soul will be exported by here okay and then go here for the beginning for this clip so i can end it by here <clears throat> so let me reduce this freezer frame and this one too so for this this soul layer and then i have to bring back here where they have been started okay so guys when you try to play you see it will be go here just and then it will come back here guys okay and i'm going to animate the rotate okay click here for this beginning on this soul layer click arrow add keyframe and then go here on the center of this layer and then i can rotate just like this okay and then go on the end they can bring back my subject as a default okay <clears throat> this is good so when you play you see how it is yeah then it comes back okay guys let me smooth this layer select those layer and let click go on keyframe assistant click here on, on easy easy just so you can use f9 and then back here on layer of position and then select this layer right click keyframe assistant easy is okay so when you pray you see how the stuff is guys this is good okay for this position guys let me open up this graph okay so you have to select it first open this graph so now i'm going to animate this graph cause my soul it will export with the more speed okay and it will took like a 
a few times when it, it is getting the center and then for the ending it will also use more speed okay so i have to admit just like this so when i pray you see how is guys okay yeah this is good yeah this is perfect okay so back here okay so guys i'm going to use op op opacity for these so will be av available when they get here so okay let me open up this soil layer this is opposite i have to add the keyframe because it is in 100 and then got, come here for the beginning and they have to add zero yes yeah okay this so will be a variable for the few seconds and when it is ending okay i have to add the keyframe here for this opacity so when they go in it will be disappeared just like this mm, let me start let me see how it is yeah okay this is good so now let me add this this motion this blurriness okay just like this guys this is good okay so close this setting and for this this soul i can you see this soul is still a variable more so i can reduce some opacity so let me use like just like this like 80 or 70 and come here for the end for this opacity layer just like this okay so let me pray let me see how it is okay you see this all is transparent okay yeah this is good so let me duplicate this soul layer okay and click on this area click control press to duplicate and then i can move on jump like a few frames you see how the how my soul is coming Okay, so let me duplicate one more control press d and let me move just like here let me pray and see how it is you see how this stuff is guys this is better okay so i'm going to create an adjustment layer for adding curve let click click here on new click here on adjustment layer okay this is the adjustment layer so now go here on effect such the effect called the curve move this curve for this adjustment layer okay so i can increase something like this so let me add some shape like here guys like this for this shape open up this adjustment layer effect open this curve i can click here for invert just like this okay and for this curve options i can increase opacity or decrease but i want to mask feather for this for this path just like this okay when
when this man hit this guy okay it will be just like this okay so now let me add some some opacity so i have to add opacity here and then let me jump a few frames back forward and then let me add zero like this okay so when i pray you see how the stuff is okay the soul will be comes for this guy and then this curve will be disappeared so now i have to add and again keyframe and then jump like few frames forward and then let me add zero so let me pray and let me let's see how it is and this is how the stuff will be guys man this is so pretty nice okay this is good so guys if you want you can add like curve here for these this so you can add curve for this so just like this increase the light for this curve something like this okay it looks good yep guys so this is the simple way how you can create this dr strange soul export effect in adobe after effect guys if this video is very helpful to you don't forget to subscribe like and drop your comment down below i just want to know what you think about it see you in the next video peace